Hey, all right, call this an unpopular opinion if you want, but I do feel this film is either going to be unbelievably good or it's going to be excruciatingly bad. I'm not sure which one it's going to be, and I hope, I hope it's the former, not the latter, but as we've seen with the sequels to the original great movie, I'm not expecting much. Hey, no Ranger of the Comic Rider, we're just going to be reacting to the first trailer for The Matrix 4, otherwise known as The Matrix Resurrections. Now, I don't know if people are coming back from the dead. I don't know if people are mentally coming back from the dead. You know with this film, the original, the OG, the classic, as I would say, it was something that broke the world. I think when it came out in the uh, late 90s, I think it was 99, maybe it was 2000 when the first one came out, it completely broke cinema. People were thinking about things they hadn't thought about. It kind of gave spiritualism this weird boost that it hadn't experienced in quite a long time. People thinking outside the box. People thinking, wait, what if we are in a simulation? Maybe Elon Musk is right. I don't know. I don't know what the truth is. I don't know what the lies are. What I do know is the first Matrix movie was unbelievable. The second one, bad. The third one, even worse. But to be honest, I don't really remember two and three. Like I remember one, I've watched it like 14, 15 times. And I watched it recently about a month ago because I knew this film was coming out. But then again, I haven't seen either the second or the third one in 10 or 15 years. So maybe it's better than I remember. I just hope it doesn't go down the Star Wars route of the, uh, the sequel trilogy, more of like an MCU, more of a Harry Potter where it sticks to the lore, sticks to the good stuff and kind of throws away the bad stuff. Yeah, please don't mess up another sci-fi franchise. The remakes are kind of redundant at this point. The sequels that are trashy. So let's just hope that this one can succeed where these other franchises, Star Wars, <coughs> Star Wars, uh, the sequel trilogy has failed. Let's go to this trailer. Let's go. Well, there is immediately something off. You seem particularly triggered right now. Can you tell me what happened? Oh yeah, no patch crisis. Dreams, dreams that weren't just dreams. Am I crazy? Where's the head? Use that word in here. Huh. Hi. I didn't know she was back. So they don't remember. Is it what if he actually took the blue pill? Hey, the music is heavy handed. Is that a young? If you want the truth, the white rabbit. You're going to have to follow me. The only thing that matters to you is still here. I know it's why you're still fighting, and why you will never give up. You don't know me, no. Turned into like Naruto. That turned into anime in a second. After all these years, to be going back to where it all started. Back to the Matrix. What? Huh. 
You know there's some type of spoiler or some type of inbuilt secret in that coding at the end there. There's some words there that people are gonna are gonna find out exactly what they are. Uh I think I do need to go back and watch the second and third one. Because there might be some stuff that I'm missing here. Because there were links which I made and others that I didn't. I was a bit lost at certain points, but I remember that first film too well to be confused watching this trailer because there was a lot of nostalgic stuff here. There was a lot of stuff thrown back. I think the great thing about the first one was that it was so iconic, not just from a story perspective, but visually the film was outstanding. It was really, really dynamic for 1999. I think when you look at the visuals now and watching them in this trailer, they weren't hitting as hard as I think they were 20 years ago. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, five years ago even. And while my chest was pounding from 30 seconds all the way to the end, I'm kind of getting a weird feel here where it kind of has that Last Jedi tinge to it. Like there's changes going on, there's stuff being altered here, and I'm not sure I'm 100% on board with this. Um, I think it could still be great, but there is something that is putting me off right now and I just don't know what it is. I wish I could define it. I wish I could say exactly that because I love Neil Patrick Harris, obviously Keanu Reeves, Carrie Ann Moss, but something was out of place here. But maybe that's exactly what they're going for. They want people to say, what's wrong here? Something isn't right. And I don't know if it's just solely the John Wick haircut on Keanu Reeves that's making me think John Wick. Like, it's not the John Wick character here, but it's not exactly Neo either. The weird thing is, I remember when the release dates got announced for John Wick 4 and The Matrix 4, and they were on the same day. And there were rumors going about, like deep cut rumors, deep, deep on Reddit saying, wait, wait, is John Wick 4 actually connected to The Matrix? Is it connected to Matrix 4? And is that why they had the same day date release? And it was going to be like a, a double header that was going to be unexpected. No one thought this was real and it turns out being the most ridiculous cinematic crossover of all time. The fact he's got the John Wick hair here makes me think, maybe, but the tone of Keanu Reeves acting, and yes there is a tone to the way he acts, is not giving me John Wick vibes at all. The Carrie Ann Moss reveal was great. Jessica Henwick I like a lot. I don't know who that person was reading the Alice in Wonderland book though. Character wise, I'm not sure, but the actress, I kind of recognize her, but I don't. She looks, I don't know. Those glasses are not doing anyone any favors, I'll tell you. They went and got a young Mophius. I don't know what's going on right now. It's so crazy. It's bombastic Christmas this year. I know it's been pushed back, but my God, you don't need me to explain the red pill, blue pill moment in this trailer, but I think from the way they structured it, it seems like he's retroactively taken the blue pills to kind of make him forget about the situation he was in after he'd taken the red pill. And then he's going to retake the red pill when either it's going to be Jessica Henwick or whoever. And that's the situation we're going to be in in this story where they might need Neo again to save the world again. The ending to the first Matrix was great, but that final shot was absolutely ridiculous. I remember as a kid watching that saying, that's a bit weird, like, you kind of just OP'd this guy, and this is six-year-old me speaking. He's not Superman, is he? Like, well, he is, but why? Does he need to be Superman? You don't need to be Superman to be the best. You can be Batman. You can be The Flash. You can be Iron Man. You don't need to be Superman. So I kind of did laugh at that as a kid, saying, why did they just make him fly off at the end? I understand it's a world without limitations, and Neo essentially unlocked his full potential. That's the vibe. I always thought it was just a bit goofy at the end there. The rest of the film, 9, 10 out of 10. But that ending itself was just, why? The end point of that trailer was almost like fifth dimensional breaking of the wall. You know there's fourth dimension breaking, wall breaking? This one kind of felt like, wait, we already know there's fourth dimension breaking. So it's like, you're going a stage beyond that by him being aware that the matrix is where it is or where it's not. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm smelling a bit of stink here, but... There is every opportunity for this to be a great movie. At this point, I'm going to hold off my judgment on this trailer, on this movie, because it has every chance to be absolutely stunning. I'm just letting you know and being honest, though, I'm smelling a little bit of stanky stank somewhere down the line. So let's just hope and pray that it's actually a good film and they don't do the doo-doo in the cinemas. Anyway, guys.
If you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, Neo himself gonna come after you. You don't want that, no. You really don't. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been Narendra the Comic. You've been Grand. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow if you don't know. Make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over 1,000 days now. We ain't stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality. Shitty content because we're hashtag never not here. Just how it goes. Also bring the Bogwas. Bogwas means nonsense in Punjabi. And we also bring that. Bring a lot. Bring a little. Do a lot. Do a little. But we do indeed bring the quality shitty content on a daily basis. So see you tomorrow. More of the same. Slightly different. But essentially the very same. Once more. See you then. Skadoosh.